agenda. Last night I was meant to be attending a charity event for EB. I was also meant to be giving a speech at this event. Unfortunately I did not attend as I also got some sad news yesterday. A few weeks ago when I was down in hospital the doctors take, took a biopsy of my left hand as me and my mum both found something we did not like the look of on my skin. Yesterday I got the results of the biopsy and it turns out I have a skin cancer that is common in people with my condition. Over this next month or so I'm going to give you an insight on what it is like to live with this condition. I also want to let you follow my journey in battling this skin cancer and this obstacle that has been thrown in front of me. Tonight I'm going to start by giving the speech that I was going to give last night at the charity event. I have a rare genetic skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa or more commonly known as EB. Firstly, I wanted to share with you a bit about my condition and how it affects my life. Secondly, I want to talk about how I try not to let my condition get in the way of me living life to the full and share with you some of the things I enjoy to do. Epidermolysis villosa or EB is a very rare genetic skin condition that affects about 5,000 people in the UK and around 500,000 people worldwide. It causes the skin to blister and break with the slightest friction. There are several types of EB which affect sufferers in multiple ways and differ in severity. Mine is called recessive dystrophic. The condition has affected mine and my family's life immensely in multiple ways. The worst part is the excruciating pain I go through on a daily basis. At times it can be unbearable. The pain has got even worse recently that not even an increased dosage of morphine or other painkillers can help. As you can see, I have bandages all over my body, from my neck down, and these bandages have to be changed by my mum every other day, which can take between three and four hours. This isn't just painful for me, but it's also hard for my family to see me going, see me going through this on a daily basis. It is not just externally that EB affects me, as a result of the condition, I never used to be able to swallow and still have problems with my throat and esophagus. This means that some days I can't eat. This is a pain as I really used to enjoy cooking and eating nice food. As I can't eat a great deal, to get all the vitamins and nutrients I need, I am fed through a button in my stomach most nights. But enough of the depressing stuff. I'm not the type of person to let anything get me down. I like to live life to the full and make the most of every experience. It is for this reason that I love to travel, see new places, meet new people and try new things. I have been fortunate enough to go to some amazing places around the world and meet some great people. Sometimes whilst I'm away with my family and enjoying myself, I can go for hours and hours without asking for my morphine, which never happens at home. Whilst I'm away on holiday and doing and seeing new things, it is not as if the pain is any less, but all of that good stuff acts as a distraction. As well as travelling, I like to play wheelchair football, in both national and local league and cup competitions. 
I play for a team called Bolton Bullets, which is not too far away. I have also not like, let my condition affect my independence. I drive an adapted car and does all, have also been involved in a few different work placements and volunteering opportunities. Recently, I went into the school that my sister teaches at, where the kids there interviewed me for a BBC television project. This is something I want to do more of. I want to use my outgoing personality to help me talk about my condition and raise awareness. I know my day-to-day -day life can be difficult, but my motto is hashtag YOLO. And I really believe in making the most of life and any opportunity that is thrown in my direction. It is my aspiration to continue to raise awareness of EB.